Hi everyone and welcome to Search the Story Behind the Numbers. Today I want to start with this series of videos with uh, a short explanation related to what is break-even. And let's explore a little bit what is break-even. First of all, when we think about break-even, we're thinking actually about how the company might reach a level that will generate or start generating profit. And that's a very interesting point because we can think of various businesses in which we look at break-even in a certain way. So basically, if we look at break-even, that's the point when revenues are equals, equal to costs, right? But here's the catch. Now, when we're talking about costs, we have different categories of costs. And uh, we have, for instance, one category which is related to fixed expenses, like rent, like utilities, like paying salaries, or the depreciation related to buying different equipments. On the other side, we have variable expenses. Those are basically dependent on how much I sell. So it means that we can look at the cost in these two directions, and that's why we start having a couple of formulas along the way. So if we just simplify it here, we have revenues equal to cost, but now for the revenues, let's suppose that we sell something, right? We have a certain product. And my favorite example is if we're looking at a coffee shop, right? If we have a coffee shop and let's suppose that we have one single type of coffee or one type of product, it means that I sell something, right? Or I have a quantity that I'm selling at a given price, right? So quantity times price is equal to revenues. And now for break even to happen, I need to equalize, right? In a way, quantity times price to the cost, which is basically what? The fixed expenses, let's call it fixed expense plus the variable expenses, by the way, fixed expenses are not dependent on how much I sell. If I don't sell anything, I still have to pay the fixed expenses. I need to pay the marketing budget. I have to pay the rent, the utilities, whatever is necessary to operate the business. So think about the fixed expenses as the foundation from on which you actually generate the actual business. For instance, if you have a coffee shop, you might think of uh, creating a space which is very nice for those that will come. Uh, maybe you have uh, different architecture related to how uh, the place is uh, uh, organized. So that will generate some fixed expenses. Now, you might have employees, then you'll have fixed expenses which is related to the employees. And finally, we have these variable expenses which are typically based or the value of, of them are, is based on how much I sell. If I don't sell anything, the value is basically zero. So here I have quantity times the unit cost or the variable cost. We call it CV. So as you can see, now we have the revenue on one side and the cost on the other side. And now the question is how much do I need to sell in order to reach break even. And to do that, I take or I calculate the value of the quantity at break even. So now this Q at break even is like a formula, right? We have, well, first of all, the fixed expenses, and below we have the price minus the variable unit cost. And this is really important, especially the, the part below, because this is actually the contribution margin. This is actually the unit that I have to sell or the um, difference between the price and the cost per unit, uh, which is in the end my profit per unit. So now the question would be, how many times do I need to multiply the break even to actually cover my fixed expenses? And that becomes part of the calculation for break even. So let's have an example because that might be more relevant for you to understand what break even is. If I'm looking at uh, a price for a product, and again, we can go to the coffee shop, we have a price for a coffee, and let's say here the price for a coffee is uh, $4, right? 
and we have the variable cost for the coffee which is one dollar right now the contribution margin so what i keep after selling one unit is three dollar no, right so but the question is how many times do i need to or how many units do i need to uh, to sell in order to actually cover my fixed expenses that's why the fixed expenses let's suppose that i have fixed expenses of uh, um, to make it easy for the calculation uh, 2100 dollars right so now if i calculate quantity at break even as the ratio between the fixed expenses and the price minus cv we get 2100 over 3 which is 3 sorry uh, 700 700 units what does it mean i need to sell 700 units to reach break even right until i reach break even i cannot talk about profit so if i'm selling for instance 500 units that will mean 500 times three dollar which is my contribution margin and that will be below the targeted fixed expenses so that's related to break even in the next episode we will talk about the next step how we can reach profit starting from break even so looking forward to hear your comments of course and your feedback and hope this was useful for you take care